So the first thing we want to do here is add a bit of a unique color tone to this image. So we'll go inside our master looks folder and we'll scroll down and we'll play uh, blossom action. So click play. Next what we want to do is add a bit of contrast to this photo. So we can go inside our master contrast folder. It has all our different contrast looks. And out of these crunch it actions here, we're going to play number four. Let's have a look at number four. And you'll see what it's done there. If I turn the opacity to zero, then a hundred. It's added some nice contrast to the image. So next what we want to do, I want to focus on some of these individual colors. Uh, in particular, I want to bring out the red tones a bit more. So what we're going to do, scroll down to our master looks folder. Inside there is a section called We've got boost red, green, blue, purple, cyan, yellow, and all colors. And, and the way these actions work is that you click play on any layer, and it will boost that specific color on that layer. Uh, so what we want to do, we want to work with our background layer here, but we don't want to destroy our background layer. So essentially what we want to do is duplicate the layer, and from here we can click on boost red, and you'll see if I undo that, Let's do that again. Duplicate that layer. We'll click play on the booth red. Play it, click it again. You'll see the red tones just coming up. So what we do can do now is we have the booth red on a uh, individual layer, so we can essentially adjust the opacity of how much red we want to bring back in. So we can even play it again, and we can just drag the slider back to zero for the opacity and bring it up to a point that we're happy with. So what we want to do now is I might flatten the image to clean up all these layers. So at the top of our master contrast folder, I'm just going to click on flatten image, click play. Now we want to add a bit of sharpness, especially uh, around her face here, into her skin. So what we're going to do, we're going to play HDR strong, click play. And we're just going to bring the opacity of this layer back down to about 20%. Next what we want to do is, I might boost up these tones a little more. Might boost up the red a bit more. So we'll go down to our uh, boost color section. And actually what I might do is I'll duplicate our background layer and I'll just boost all the colors. Click play. And we'll drag our opacity down and just bring it up to about 40%. I think that's looking good. So what I want to do, I want to add a bit more of a unique tone to this image. So I might just play this action. Let's have a look at touch of green and red. And let's click, click play there. And you'll see it's added some, I'll just hide this layer, opacity, 0 and 100. So it's adding a bit of a cyan uh, overtone to the shadows and a bit of a bit more of a red, uh, red and green look to the image. So we'll put this opacity to about, leave it at about 50%. So what I might do now is again flatten image to clean up these layers. Flatten image. And I think we're pretty much done. So might just sharpen it a little bit more. So at the top here, we'll click on Finish Sharpen. Look, what I might do, I'll just, because I'll, we don't want to work off our background layer, so we'll just duplicate it, and we'll click on Finish Sharpen. And we'll keep a radius of about 0.3 pixels, and now somewhere around 40% is good. Okay, so here we have our final look. So what we might do now is import the original file, the original photo, and place it over the top to see uh, before and after effect. Just center this image. So here we have our original photo and after.